Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing crows. There is no one defined taxonomic group of birds known as crows. Most crows, however, are classified in the Corvus genus, along with ravens and rooks. As we previously discussed in our raven episode, crows and ravens aren't scientifically separated, but generally can be told apart by their size and their tail shape. Ravens are larger than crows, ravens have a thicker beak, and ravens have a diamond-shaped tail, while crows have a fan-shaped tail. Rooks can be told apart by the pale base of their bill, at least in adults. Overall, everything discussed in this video applies to the Corvus genus as a whole. There are about 40 living species of birds commonly known as crows that are classified in this genus. These birds range from around the world, though they aren't found in southern South America or New Zealand. Rooks live in New Zealand. Crows are omnivores and eat just about anything from berries, nuts, and fruit to small animals, other birds, and carrion. They're often viewed as pests to crops, hence the invention of scarecrows. But studies indicate that crows are actually more beneficial than harmful because, though they do consume crops, they eat more crop pest insects than the crops themselves. Like tits, crows store food to eat later. These birds live just about anywhere they can gather food, though they aren't seen in dense, wet forests. Some species migrate to warmer areas during the coldest parts of the year, but others gather in massive flocks that can number in the tens of thousands. These flocks are believed to help keep the birds warm and safe from predators. Crows are often described as black, but this is just a surface examination. In light, their feathers appear iridescent, giving off various hues. Their young also have blue-tinted eyes that darken as they age. And some crows have errant white feathers. We've even seen one that looked all patchy with white and black. Male and female crows are typically identical to each other, though sometimes males are slightly larger. These birds can reach wingspans of about three feet, which is smaller than the largest ravens. Though they eat on the ground, crows roost in trees. They often live in family groups that consist of a breeding pair and their offspring. Young crows remain in their parents' territory, sometimes for years, and help raise their younger siblings. Nests are built in trees, but these birds will also utilize abandoned buildings, billboards, rock crevices, telephone poles, and other high places to raise their young. About five green-colored eggs are laid and incubated for three weeks. The babies take a month to develop before leaving the nest. Crows have been recorded reaching 10 years old in the wild, though they're known to double this if they can avoid predators. Predators to crows include owls, hawks, snakes, and small mammals, including domestic cats. Crows, however, have tight-knit families, and they'll mob a predator threatening their kin. This behavior is often accompanied with loud squawks. Here are some examples of crow vocalizations. These birds are so intelligent they can mimic human speech. They also use sticks as tools to gather food from small holes and crevices. Another fascinating crow behavior is known as anting. They'll sit on an anthill and let the angry insects swarm them. Then they'll rub the ants into their feathers and skin, which coats them in the ants' secretions. This is believed to help crows keep themselves free of parasites. For more facts on crows, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.